Hey folks, welcome back to the series where I show you how I turned this inexpensive and standard 3D printer into a customized machine that fits exactly my needs. And in this video I gonna show you a camera mount that follows your print in the x-axis and that will also hold your belt tension. For the cable of the camera attached to it, I made this cable chain. And I found and printed this very neat tool tray that lets you store your accessories under your printer. And this video is sponsored by my longtime partner PCBWay. They not only can make PCBs for you, but offer a wide variety of different manufacturing methods, such as CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, 3D printing and injection molding. You can simply upload your 3D file like this. Then you can choose the quantity and material you want your parts made of. And you get an instant quote. If you need your parts professionally manufactured, PCBWay can do this for you in a simple and affordable way. And now back to the video. Let's start with this tool tray that I found on Thingiverse. It's designed by Bradford B4. This print covers almost the entire build plate from left to right. This bridge here needs some support structure, so I use tree support for this and for the infill I go with gyroid. With my print settings, it took almost 3 hours to print it. In hindsight, I should have printed this part with a brim. As you can see on the right corner, there is a bit of warping. A brim would probably also have helped to keep the tree support on the plate. A piece of it fell off during printing, which led to this messy deformation. I then had a bit of a hard time removing the tree support that's partially fused with the part. I tried it with the file. That was a bad idea. In the end, it worked best by just pushing it from this side. And that's it! A tool tray for all your accessories that come with the Elegoo Neptune 4 and that you can store underneath your printer. Back in part 2 of this series, I showed you how to install and set up a camera so you can watch your printer over Wi-Fi on your computer and your phone. And we also built a fixed camera mount that goes on the base of the printer. But that one was stationary and pointed to the build plate in a fixed position. Where this model here, made by Toppest of Dogs, goes on the x-axis and does also lock your belt tension wheel. It is also made for cameras that uses the ball connection, like the previous one. This mount have a large overhang section, so I go with tree support again. Here you can see the old camera angle that was with the previous camera mount. And now let's print a new one. With my print settings, this piece took 2 hours to print. For all the parts of the printer, I used the Marble White PLA by Polyterra. Even though my print settings were not that good adjusted to the filament, the part turned out ok. To install the new mount, I had to remove this belt tension stopper as the new mount should exactly fit over that belt tension wheel, but it didn't. As it turned out, the hole for the belt tension wheel is way too high up, so I would have to remove these corners here to even fit it, which I then did by filing these down, just to see if it fits in all the other spots where it connects to the x-axis. And other than the adjusting wheel part of the print, it does fit well. I then did a quick remix of the model, with the knob cut out in the right position. As you can see there are some strange edges and corners now on this model that were not on the original one. I don't know how and why this happened, it looks a bit strange, but they do not affect the function of the part and so I moved on. So this is how it looks now. The most crucial part of this print is the ball where the camera connects to it. So that it fits well, I finished it off a little with the file. Here you can see the difference between the location of the hole on the original design and on my remixed model. So it was quite a bit off. But now it snaps into place just like this and also holds the belt tension wheel tight. Be careful when you connect the camera to the ball mount because this part is a bit a weak spot. Because of the new mount, the camera image is now rotated. We can adjust this in the settings. Go to the camera tab, then click on default. 
and here you can rotate the camera image by 270 degrees. Then hit save and you can see back in the dashboard that your camera image is now the right way around. With the new camera mount now installed, I thought that it would be cool to have some sort of cable chain for the cable of the camera. So I jumped back into Tinkercad to remix the old camera links that we used on the previous camera mount so that the cable can go right through it. These links do not have much surface area to stick to the print bed, so I printed them with a brim. I designed them to fit a 4mm cable and I also did a variant with a 3mm hole for smaller cables. And as you can see the idea is that you can stick them together, insert the cable and then rotate it ever so slightly so that the cable is covered by it. For to see how much links I will need, I let the printer move to its highest position. For the Elegoo Neptune 4 Pro you need 26 of them. If like me you want to use the old camera bracket as a mounting point. You can now install all the links needed on your cable and at the bottom I installed two of these links without a cable slot. I will link you all the parts needed in the description as well as the old camera mount that I used to connect it to the base of the printer. The last piece of this cable chain is this end cap that is installed right at the camera. And in the end it should look something like that. The only thing left to do is to apply one zip tie at the first link of the cable chain. In my comments I often get the question how I painted the grey parts on my printer that I didn't show yet. And the answer is that I disassembled and spray painted some of the bigger parts you can see here and that I also designed these printable covers that you can put on the base of the printer and some more that you can glue on for the gantry, the Y and the X axis. At the moment these are only available for my Patreons as an early access. I will show the painting and the making of these cover parts in the next episode of this series and when that video is released I will upload all the files to Thingiverse where you can get it for free. You can subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss that and to get your printer in the color of your choice. Also a big thank you to all of you who made it to the end of this video. Feel free to write in the comments if I missed something or if you have any questions, tips or tricks. And if this video was helpful for you in any way, please let me know by hitting that like button. That really means much to me and helps my small channel. That's it for today, have fun printing and we see us in the next one.